We've been working on adding numbers within a thousand that we had to regroup sometimes and sometimes we did not have to regroup. Today we're going to work on adding more than two add-ins. We've only been adding two add-ins, but now we're going to start adding three or four add-ins. Remember the numbers that we add together are called add-ins and we're trying to find our sum, our answer in addition. So I've represented each of my add-ins with my base 10 blocks. My rods represent my tens and my single units represent my ones. So 65 was represented as 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. 23 was represented as 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. 47 was represented as 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. And 19 was repre represented as 10, not 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So I've started by showing each of my add-ins. Now when I look at my ones, I have way more than 10 ones. And anytime we have 10 or more ones, we can create bundles and exchange them, our ones for a 10 rod. So we're gonna create our bundles and our bundles are always in tens. So I am going to group together 10 ones. So that's five ones, six, seven, eight ones, nine, 10 ones. So let's count and make sure we're making an even exchange. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten ones make a ten. So I'm going to exchange these ten ones for a ten rod. So here's my new ten rod that I've just exchanged ten ones for a ten rod but I still have more than 10 ones left. So I am going to have to regroup and exchange again. So I've got one, two, three, four, five up here, and I can grab another row of five. Let's make sure I have 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. If I did not have 10 in my bundle, I would not be able to exchange it for a 10 rod. So I can get rid of these 10 ones and exchange it for another 10 rod. Let's see how many ones I'm left with. I don't have any ones up here and I have no ones here, but I have one, two, three, four ones left. So right here, I have four ones. The, I know that they're left over because they're not crossed out. All right, now let's look at our 10 rods. We have way more than 10 10 rods, and we know that 10 10 rods can be bundled together to make 100. So we're gonna start bundling together in groups of 10. Remember, anytime you have 10 or more of the same type, you can bundle them together for the next place value. So let's bundle one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 tens. So I'm gonna circle 10 tens. I'm gonna take this one. Let's count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I can cross out this group of tens and bring in a hundred because ten tens equals a hundred. Let's see how many tens I have left. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I do not have another group of ten tens. I only have five tens left. So I can stop regrouping. Five tens is worth fifty. And then now I have 100 because I bundled 10 tens together to make 100. So let's see if I can find my sum. Remember, anything that's crossed out won't count anymore. So I have 154. My sum is 154. Let's do this with drawings. Here are my add-ins. I had one, two, three, four add-ins and I'm looking for my sum. I represented 65, 23, 47, and 19. Now I'm going to bundle my ones together to make groups of 10. Here is a group of 10 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I can exchange it for another 10. 
got to cross out my ones. Let's get another group of, of 10 ones because I see that I have a lot of ones left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I can exchange it for one ten rod. I am left with four ones. So now let's bundle our tens. I have way more than ten tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to get a group of ten tens together. Doesn't matter which ten I pick. But sometimes when they're close together, it helps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten tens can be exchanged for one hundred. I have five tens left over. Five tens are not worth five, they're worth fifty. And now I have a hundred. So my sum is one hundred fifty plus four, which is one hundred fifty-four. So let's look at this with expanded form. Expanded form is a little bit harder. So we'll start with 60 plus 5, 20 plus 3, 40 plus 7, and 10 plus 9. We've got to decompose each of those numbers, just like we did when we drew them. I need to start grouping together my 1s. So 5 plus 3 is 8, 8 plus 7 is 15, and 15 plus 9 is 24 ones. Now let's add together my 10s. 60 plus 80 is, I'm sorry, 60 plus 20 is 80. 80 plus 40, 90, 100, 110, 120, and then 10 more is 130. And now I've got to break it apart to solve it. So I can break 24 into 10 plus 10 plus 4. So I have four ones. Now let's combine our tens together. 130 plus 10 plus 10 is 140, 150. So I now have 150 plus 4. I could just add these together and see that my sum is 154. If I want to break it apart, I can decompose it into 150 and 4, but it still equals 154. So my sum with these four add-ins is 154. Now you are going to practice adding three or four add-ins using drawings or expanded form.